Our meeting for the School Board of Charlotte County, Florida for Tuesday, July 24th, 2018. Here in Charlotte County, we will achieve our vision of student success through our mission to promote, promote character and competence in a positive learning culture that ensures success and inspires purpose for all. If you would please rise and join us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> okay, next up our additions and corrections. Mr. Dionisio. We do have one addition this evening, addition of item D2, recognition of the Charlotte High School Tarpon Booster Club. So moved. Second. Everything okay? We have a motion and a second to approve the addition to the agenda. Is there any board discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Next item on the agenda is citizen comment on agenda items only. If there are any citizens who wish to address the board regarding the items on the agenda, this is your opportunity. Seeing none, we will move on to reports. Mr. Dionisio. We have two reports this evening. The first report is the Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design Medallion Presentation. Assistant Superintendent of District Support Services, Jerry Levo, will present this report. I would like to invite the board to join me in front of the dais. Good evening, uh, Mr. Chairman, school board members, uh, Mr. Dionisio. Um, I'm going to ask Mr. Billy Williams, our Director of Maintenance, to, to join us in, up front. We were expecting Mr. Bedford, um, but I'm going to assume he's got held up in all that traffic from Inglewood to, to, uh, um, to Murdoch Center. Um, we'll make sure that he gets his medallion, though. Um, so, as you know, for many years, districts going green uh, once meant turning the lights out after leaving the classrooms, um, filling the recycling bins, and celebrating Earth Day. Well, as you well know, here in Charlotte County, it means so much more. Although those such activities remain staples of environmentally conscious school districts, uh, that consciousness has exploded at Charlotte County Public Schools. Uh, we have evolved to a greater understanding of what a sustainable school is. Um, as you know, the standards for sustainable schools, we've had many discussions about them as we rebuilt our district. Um, and they're constantly evolving and, and um, improving. Uh, in some ways, they're very much a moving target. Uh, by embracing the USGBC, United States Building Council's LEED criteria, uh, we have embodied the essence of creating healthy, comfortable, and well-lit spaces for our, um, all our kids and staff. Um, as well as conserving energy, water, and our, our, na our nation's ever-decreasing natural resources. Uh, some, some examples of the emergence of green technologies associated with LEEDs range from water and electricity saving sensors, efficient heating and cooling systems, uh, improved acoustics, indoor environmental quality using recycled wood products and, and or wood products that are harvested uh, from farm trees, uh, from tree farms rather, uh, tinted windows to deflect heat, indirect lighting to uh, reducing the need for interior lights, paints and adhesives with low VOCs, volatile organic compounds, and uh, of course, low flush toilets. Um, here in Charlotte County, building green schools, um, thanks to the forethinking of our board, has become the norm rather than the exception to the rule. Um, this spring, the United States Green Building Council announced that Lemon Bay High School had been awarded LEED certification. Uh, Lemon Bay now becomes our 10th building and our 6th sixth, sixth school to achieve that victory. Um, one of the things that I think that makes Lemon Bay unique is that, as, as, as most of you will recall, we started the project in 2010, and it was six phases over five years. 
Um, so if you can imagine with me the collection of data that includes, but not limited to, separating your debris on the construction site and keeping all of that paper trail uh, is a part and parcel of becoming eligible for LEEDS. It's taken a year and a half since the completion of the school for the USGBC to finally recognize Lemon Bay. So it's an arduous process. That includes many people. It includes our maintenance and operations team. It includes our, har our architects, Harbor Jolly, and includes our contractor, Balford Beatty. Uh, they couldn't be here tonight, but we're very grateful for their help in, in achieving this, this, great, uh, this great honor. So as we've done with our past buildings, the medallion will be mounted in the lobby of, of Lemon Bay um, so that uh, um, they can share that with, with their community. And Mr. Williams has a certificate for the board uh, that recognizes LEEDS, and so hopefully you, you'll, you'll display it here for us. Um, with that, I'll be happy to answer any questions. Again, Mr. Bedford uh, was supposed to be here. Uh, hopefully, uh, um, we'll, we'll get to him. We'll, we'll get his medallion to him as soon as we can. Thank you. Our next recognition is of the Charlotte High School Tarpon Booster Club. Assistant Superintendent Jerry Leva will also present this report. That was short and sweet, yeah. Uh, I'd like to invite Mr. Williams to join us back, and of course the Charlotte High Boosters are here. If they would join me up front, including the principal and assistant principal from Charlotte High School. And Mr. Nolan, o almost forgot Mr. Nolan. Charlotte Tarpon Boosters. Uh, let's start with uh, the definition of generosity. Um, Generosity is defined as a quality of being kind, understanding, and not selfish, the quality of being generous, especially the willingness to give money and other valuables to others. Um, they should add the Charlotte High School Tarpon Boosters Club in that definition. Over the years, they have generously donated hundreds of thousands of dollars for the kids at Charlotte High School. Um, countless hours. Um, I'm speaking to the choir here. You folks know better than I do how much uh, the Tarpon Boosters uh, are beloved by Charlotte High School and how much of their time and efforts and funds that they have given. Today, tonight is no exception. Uh, working closely with our maintenance and operations department, uh, we've designed the structural components necessary to install the video board purchased by the Boosters directly at the Charlotte High School athletic compound. Um, in order to make this happen, they, they d donated a $10,000 um, engineering fees that helped us get the engineer on board, put together the guaranteed maximum price. And then a few days ago, they sent us the second check for $95,190 to cover the entire cost for the installation of the board. Um, I, I, it, 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 it really leaves you speechless when you think about it. Uh, we have with us this evening, of course, uh, Mrs. Corsaletti, the principal at uh, Charlotte High School, uh, Mr. Tenney, the assistant principal, Mr. Nolan, the athletic director, and then the, the, the honorees, the real, the real heroes for tonight, Mr. Wally Keller, Mr. Danny Beal, Mr. Tom Hannon, and M Mr. Bill Markstadter. Without them, this just wouldn't be possible. So uh, we've, we've taken the opportunity of uh, cashing the check. It's in the bank. We, we, Mr. Greiner can attest to that. Mr. Greiner can attest to that, that it's, it's cleared. And so um, we just want to thank these, these, these guys. Just unbelievable. Generosity. So if you wouldn't mind sh shaking the board members' hands, and then Terry's going to take a s snapshot or two that we'll ask Mr. Riley to, to put on our website and uh, maybe pass along to the press. Huh, Mike? Just give the check right up front, Bill.
Alrighty, guys. Don't worry about that. I'll take care. Okay, next up we have the public hearing on Babcock High School Charter Contract. At this time, I will recess the regular meeting and I will call to order the public hearing. Mr. Dionisio. Thank you. This is the Babcock High School Charter Contract. Uh, the, uh, the application was reviewed at the March workshop and April school board meetings. Are there any questions from the board? Are there any citizens who wish to address the board on the public hearing? No. <clears throat> Seeing none, if this, at this time, if there are no objections, I will close the public hearing and resume the regular meeting. And the first item on the action agenda is, I'm sorry, we're not on the action agenda. The next item is action on the public hearing, the Babcock High School Charter Contract, Mr. Dionisio. I am recommending approval of the Babcock High School Charter Contract. I move to approve the Babcock High School Charter Contract. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the Babcock High School Charter Contract. Is there any board discussion? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? No. Motion carries four to one. Next up is the consent agenda. Mr. Dionisio. There are 13 routine items on the consent agenda. We have reviewed these items in our individual meetings, and I am recommending approval of the consent agenda. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda as presented. Is there any board discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Next up is the action agenda. First item is approval to advertise the 2018-19 budget and millage rates. Mr. Dionisio. As a part of the truth in millage process, we are required to advertise the tentative budget and millage rates prior to action at a budgeted public hearing. And I am requesting approval to advertise the 2018-19 tentative budget and millage rates. Move approval. Second. We have a, <clears throat> excuse me, a motion and a second to approve the advertisement for the 2018-19 tentative budget and millage rates. Is there any board discussion? Well, as usual, it's truth in advertising, but yet again, we have to advertise that we're, it's a tax increase, which it technically is, yet the millage rate has gone down for the fifth consecutive year. Uh, the public never seems to realize that the way that things are adjusted that uh, the property values as they increase, the millage comes down, so they're actually paying a lower rate than they were in the past. It just um, creates a greater amount because their property values have gone up. Makes sense, doesn't it? No. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> anyone else? Uh, I will just add for anyone in the audience or at home watching, uh, that this is merely the vote to advertise the millage. We are not approving any millage or budget at this time. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Next item is tuition and fees for Charlotte Technical College. Mr. Dionisio. This is the tuition fees for adult and post-secondary workforce education programs at Charlotte Technical College for the 2018-19 school year and I am recommending approval of the 2018-19 tuition and fees. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the Charlotte Technical College tuition and fees. Is there any discussion? 
I will say it is still the best deal in town. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Uh, the next item on the agenda is the clarification of the decision on instructional materials, <clears throat> petitions, motion, and vote uh, conducted by this board on May 8th, 2018. And before we address this item, I just want to make it very clear to the audience and everyone at home uh, that this is, for lack of a better word, a housekeeping item. Uh, after the decision was made, motion seconded and voted on at the last meeting, uh, it was brought to our attention that there was a little bit of confusion about what the actual motion was. Uh, I personally know what I voted for. I believe the rest of my board agrees on what we voted on. However, just to make sure there is no future confusion, uh, we've brought this item back up for a vote. Uh, and I'm going to read into the record what I read last time just to, just to be clear. Uh, upon review of the written recommendation of Mr. Alfred Current, the citizen volunteer serving as the unbiased hearing officer for the 2017-18 instructional materials adoption year, I am recommending that we accept Mr. Current's findings that the instructional materials contested are usable in the school system for subject areas K, K through 8 science and 9 through 12 social studies to include all instructional materials for which petitions were received and heard. Uh, <clears throat> at this time, I will entertain a motion regarding <clears throat> the uh, uh, hearing officer's recommendation as well as the adoption and purchase of instructional material. And I will ask that the board member who makes the motion be very clear as to whether or not we are accepting the hearing examiner's recommendation and if you are recommending that we move forward with the adoption and purchase of the textbooks. Mr. Chairman, I move that we accept the adoption or the recommendation of Mr. Alfred Current, uh, our volunteer hearing officer, and that we in fact uh, find that the materials are appropriate for our children and to proceed with the purchase of the materials that have been recommended. Did you say 1718 or 1819? I'm, I'm, my motion is for 1819. My language says 1718. But the motion is, is to 1819. Is it 1718? Yeah. Mrs. Edwards, it is in fact 1718. Okay, we have a, a motion. Do we have a second? Then I will need to rephrase that and say it's 1718 because okay. if it's four, if we're going back in time, then it will, then I will need to rephrase and make the motion to adopt for 1718. I so I, I, I hate to do this to you, but I'm Refra going to ask you to restate the entire motion. Right. And also, I'm not sure that I believe you said purchase. I'm not sure you said adopt. I, so if that okay. is your intention, please include that in the motion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move that we accept the recommendation of Mr. Alfred Current, the hearing officer, and his findings that the instructional materials are usable in the school system for subject areas K-8 <clears throat> science and 9-12 social studies, and that uh, we adopt that recommendation and that we proceed with purchasing the materials for the 1718 calendar year. Absolutely. Okay. He didn't. Mr. Vincent, I just want to make sure that there is clarity. The 17-18 school year is the adoption year. When you adopt textbooks and we ask the board to consider that adoption and purchase in the 17-18 school year, as we did, it is for implementation in the 18-19 school year. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Mrs. And that, that clarification. That will be included in the record. Thank you. Okay. We, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a <clears throat> motion and a second to accept Mr. Current's recommendations and to approve the adoption and purchase of the instructional materials. Is there any board discussion? All those in <laughs> no, no, no. I said all that and didn't mess. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries unanimously, and I will also point out at this time that per statute, the board's decision is final and not subject to further petition or review. That was easy. 
Next item is the school resource officer contract with the city of Punta Gorda. Mr. Dionisio. Thank you. This is the contract with the city of Punta Gorda to provide six qualified SROs, uh, which are school resource officers, from the Punta Gorda Police Department to serve in our Punta Gorda schools. And I am recommending approval of the SRO contract. I move approval of the SRO contract. Second. There is a motion <clears throat> and a second to approve the SRO contract with the city of Punta Gorda. Is there any board discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Next item on the agenda is the Greater Florida Consortium of School Boards Resolution. Uh, <clears throat> at this morning's workshop, this motion was discussed and whether or not the board would adopt as members of the Greater Florida Consortium the resolution. Uh, at this time, I will entertain a motion to either adopt or reject the resolution. Mr. Chairman, I move that we adopt the resolution as presented. Second. We have a motion and a second to adopt the resolution as presented. Is there any board discussion? So at this morning's workshop, um, I express my feelings about this. I want to be very clear that I am opposed to Amendment 8, not because of the term limit clause, not because of the civic education clause. We can, those are other things to be debated. The reason that I am opposed to this amendment is the meat of this proposal, which takes away the authority of this board to approve the schools within its district. Um, so I wanted to make it very clear that I am opposed to Amendment 8. But that being said, I do not agree with the Greater Florida Consortiums the way that they have presented their resolution. I feel like our board is better served by the resolution that was passed by the Florida School Board Association, which very clearly communicated the reasons why school boards are opposed to this amendment. I do not feel that the Greater Florida Consortium, um, that their statement, which was an effort to keep everyone in the room happy, the result of it is that it doesn't clearly express anyone's feelings about that amendment. I don't feel comfortable with it, and because of that reason, I will be voting no. Thank you. <clears throat> Anyone else? Um, it's, it's like deja vu from the workshop, because I'm going to say to you exactly what I said this morning. Um, I agree with you. I'm not excited about the way it is worded. However, I am absolutely opposed, as, as you are, to that one specific piece of Amendment 8. I have no issue with the school board term limits or the civics literacy. That is something that can be decided in other forums. Uh, but I do have a very serious issue with the authority being drained from local school districts by Amendment 8. As I said in the workshop, I wish that their resolution were worded differently. However, based on how it is worded, I absolutely can support it. But I completely respect why you are voting the way that you are. Is there any other discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Motion carries four to one. The next item on the agenda is the early Head Start Head Start grant application, Mr. Dionisio. This is the grant application for the continuation of Head Start, early Head Start programs, which provides funding for services at nine elementary schools, Hope Center at the Academy, and the Baker Center, and also provides for program operations, training, and technical assistance. I'm recommending approval of the grant application. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the Early Head Start Head Start grant application. Is there any board discussion? I'd just like to uh, say that our Head Start program was one of the first three Head Start programs to be approved in the nation, and it I think now the oldest continuously operating Head Start program and has done an amazing job over the years. I would like to congratulate the staff at Baker for putting that grant together. If you've taken the time to look at it and read it and see the detail and the thought that went into it, uh, you can have some appreciation for the level of expertise and time that went into that, and I thank them for their efforts. <clears throat> and and I, I will just add, because I think that um, Everyone on this board either has served or will serve on the Baker Policy Council at some point. Uh, and we, as, as Mr. Swift said, we were one of the first programs to be implemented. And 
across the nation, those programs are being pulled out of the public school system and being, there's lots and lots of them are being thrown into private hands because school systems can't figure out how to make it work. Uh, it's a testament to our staff and to the, the folks at Baker and everywhere through the Head Start program that we have found a way to make it work. I'm, I'm very proud that we still have it. Uh, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Next item is the 2018-19 Uniform Statewide Assessment Calendar. Mr. Dionisio. Per Florida statutes and State Board of Education rules, school districts must submit their board-approved assessment calendars to the Florida Department of Education by October 1st of each year. The assessment calendar will also be posted on the district's website. I am recommending approval of the 2018-19 Uniform Statewide Assessment Calendar. So moved. Second. <clears throat> There's a motion and a second to approve the 2018-2019 Uniform Statewide Assessment Calendar. Is there any board discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Next item is the student progression plan. Mr. Dionisio. This is the student progression plan for the 2018-19 school year. It was reviewed and discussed at this morning's workshop, and I am recommending approval of the plan. I move approval of the student progression plan. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the student progression plan. Is there any board discussion? I will jump in and say this also was discussed at the workshop this morning. Uh, Mrs. Edwards, please pass on to Ms. Kissaday and everyone in your department how thankful we are uh, for the hard work that goes in. I, every year when we approve this, I have to say this because it, it's too big of a document to just say, let's approve it, I, 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 and move along because we know the work that goes into it. So please send our, our deep thanks to all the learning division. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Next item on the agenda is the revocable license agreement between the Charlotte County School Board and the Yaya Girls Incorporated. Mr. Dionisio. This is the license agreement of the Yaya Girls Incorporated. Uh, this is for their organization to utilize district facility space for the purpose of storing materials for charitable purposes, including the Backpack Kids program. Uh, I am recommending approval of the agreement. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the agreement. Is there any board discussion? I'm not sure anybody could ever revoke anything from the Iago. <laughs> if you noticed, I turned to the page because I, it said revocable, and I was afraid that there was an IR around the, the dog ear and that it was actually irrevocable. Uh, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Next item is the personnel action and supplements. Mr. Dionisio. Thank you. Before I uh, make a recommendation, I want to introduce our new director of transportation. If you would please stand, Mr. Anthony Conti, Jr. Welcome to Charlotte County. And I am pleased to bring to you the personnel action and supplements, and I am recommending approval. I move approval. Second. There's a motion and a second to approve the personnel action and supplements as presented. Is there any board discussion? Let anybody explain to Mr. Lo Mr. Conte how loquacious he has to be to fill the shoes he's filling. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Duckworth always had, had a way with words to tell us things. But welcome. And, and, and I will just say good luck. <laughs> All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries unanimously. Next up on the agenda are, is citizen comment. If there are any citizens who wish to address the board this evening on items which were not on the agenda, uh, this is your opportunity. <laughs> okay. Seeing none, we will move on to attorney comment. And I forgot. I, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the meeting that we were we were graced with my presence. graced with the presence of mr mckinley so mr mckinley do you have any comment this it's evening? great to be back that's all thank you <laughs> uh board member comment mrs amontree uh, i'm glad that mrs whitaker is here this evening because i wanted to thank mrs whitaker and mr levo for allowing me to go with the 
cow bus um, last month. It's really a, a great thing to do to go out with the bus to the two apartment complexes and to the library and uh, our staff is so great about making it such a good experience for our kids. They have a smile for every kid that comes out of those apartment complexes. Um, they make it so much fun ringing the cowbell and honking the moo, the moo horn. Um, and we gave out books to all the kids. We fed over 100 kids that day. And I was really happy to see the partnership that we have with the library now. That's really working out well, kind of combining the, the love of reading and feeding them at the same time. So thanks for letting me come along. Mrs. Atkinson. Um, no comment tonight. Thank you. Mr. Seeger. Well, we're off and running. Three of our schools up and operational, and everybody's uh, doing well as, as far as I can tell. The others will come aboard here in about, about three weeks from Friday. So we're looking forward to getting, or two weeks from Friday, excuse me. It's even closer than I thought. We're looking forward to a, a wonderful year, and uh, there's plenty on all the plates to get accomplished this year. Well said. Mr. Swift. Uh, congratulations to the year-round schools for getting up and running. and. Uh, that's a concept that I wish would expand some uh, because I think it has a great value to the kids, but it's up to the schools. So if they want to do it, they will. If they don't, they won't. Uh, and I look forward to seeing the regular calendar schools open up and seeing everything happening at, at those locations. Thank you. Uh, I actually don't have anything to add this evening, so we'll move on to superintendent comment. Uh, first, I want to thank uh, Chuck Briner for filling in for me July 3rd. Uh, was, I was out of town and, and the meeting happened. Uh, so thank you, Mr. Briner, for, for stepping in. And uh, I also want to congratulate Mr. Vincent for uh, winning unopposed. <laughs> Uh, we have him for four more years, so congratulations. I look forward to working with you, and uh, that's it for me. Thank you. Okay. We are adjourned. <laughs>